Hi everybody, welcome back to the Builder Dad shop. I'm Builder Dad Dan, and today we're gonna to talk about my dust collection change to the DW735 planer. All right, talking about the DW735 modifications that I've made. The biggest one is this dust boot. I replaced the original dust shroud that hooked up to the motor and there's a little impeller inside there in the fan and it would shoot the chips out the back. So it'd suck them up here. It caused extra work on my motor, caused me to trip the breaker a few times and things like that. Uh, it never really collected chips all that well and I used to end up with a pile of chips in the front of my stuff or in the back and now it doesn't because I'm using the full power of a four inch line off to my dust collector. So what we've got now is we've got this dust boot there and we've also got a port cover here and then a safety switch override because I have the top off. With the top off, you have to override the safety switch. So all of these are part of the 3D print or for sale physical at some point in the future. But right now they're all part of the 3D print file that you can download. And let me break that down for you, how that works. So let's dive into this a little bit here. What we've got in front of you is version one, version two of the dust boot. We've got the port cover, We've got the safety override switch and to use a bolt out of the cover we've got a little adapter there to extend that and then we've got the three original dust shroud um, screws so how this works and why i've got two versions of the boot we'll go through right now so this is printed with pet g off a of prusa printer it's glued together with ca glue just standard ca glue and on this one here, you can see I've got the three posts. It was a two part print. And so if we put this into the machine, you can see that there's the holes line up just perfectly. But the problem I ran into was here, this going straight up runs into the, runs into the boot. The reason for that is because I've got this angled back to account for the fact that this is a four inch opening here. So what you can do is you can screw this in using two of the original posts and you can get a third screw back there to do the center where you'd have to use a screwdriver to get into it. That was all well and fine. Um, I actually ran this for a while with only the two screws in the back and my dust collection above. Everything ran smooth, but I wanted something a little better. So that's where version 2.0 came in. Version 2.0, if we look at them, has a higher height to it. And the reason for that is that if I want to, I can now come through the cover and I can go ahead and go through the cover and cut in a hole for it. So I can use a, a hole saw, and cut that in. Uh, this printed into three parts. So the top and then the two sides. Uh, what I've added to it, is a seam for the CA glue and a kind of a reference. It's got one on the front, it's got one on the back. And it's got a little keyhole that it goes into. And so this printed really nicely as well. It's also got a scoop back design here off that post. So it allows for clearance to get your fingers in there and tighten on that post. So I'm gonna go ahead and set that in there so you can get an idea what that looks like. So it's gonna cover the posts. And if you look down in there, it's got this little cutout. Uh, I actually found out that with this little piece right there that sticks out, I'm actually getting really good suction off the corners to the point where I ran about 50 board feet through this the other day and I had no chip extraction or no chips being kicked out the back or the front. And it worked out really well. So let's go through and get some of these things mounted. So step one, we'll take the dust port cover and this works just the same way the other, the old style did for the adapter. You push the pin in there. So that pin's pushed in, go ahead and you push it in there. 
And if you look around here, all I have to do is rotate that down and it locks it in very quick and nice. Now the safety switch comes in here, fits over the top. Go ahead and you see you can push that down and overrides the safety switch. So now I take the bolt out of the top cover. I put this on top there. All I have to do is screw that in. And my safety switch is overridden. Now for me, since this is still magnetic and I don't have a place to put it in the top, I cheat and there is my dust collection piping and locks it in right there. So now I've got this there and all set up. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna take a second to put this in. Okay. So now that I've got the camera angled correctly, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna mount the two rear posts. I'm not gonna tighten them all the way down. I'm just gonna get them started so that they're there. And they're just hanging out. Okay, so both of those are in. I can pick this up, it's not gonna come out of the machine, but you know, they're not that tight. So now if I go ahead, if you look, I'm gonna stick my hand in here. I'm gonna stick my other hand in from this side. And so it's just a little bit tight, but what I do is I go ahead and I bring my hand down there. And then I go ahead and find the hole. And then I go use one hand to rotate this on while I'm holding it with the other hand. And now it's on and I spin away. And it's always kind of funny how many spins you have to do when you're thinking about it. But there we go. Now that front one's mounted. See, that's tight in there. Now go ahead and tighten down the back too. And I am all set using the original posts for the dust shroud. I've got the safety switch overridden. I've got a cover here. I left the impeller in for the fan. I took this apart and cleaned it when I was doing all this work just so that I didn't have extra dust getting thrown out everywhere. So this is all cleaned on the inside. Everything works really nice now. I get a lot of air movement in there. It keeps the motor really cool. And here, I just slide my pipe right on the top and I've got one of those Rockler clamps that I can just quickly tighten down. And there we go. I am now in business and ready to run some lumber. And that was it. That is the modifications that I made for the DW735 planer. Uh, this is hooked up, we'll just go over the reference real quick. This is hooked up to a four inch port that's coming off my dust collection line. This dust collection line services a few tools and comes all the way down here, switches into a six inch line. And that six inch line takes me all the way back to my Harvey dust processor. It's a G700. All right, well, thanks for watching and for a quick walkthrough of version one, version two of the design. Have fun.